Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Don here. So today I thought we would do this little diamond art painting. Um, it is only tiny, it's a little baby one, um, but I thought it would be really nice uh, to do it with you guys. Um, yeah, just for, sorry for the rustling, hang on, there we go. Um, just so that I, yeah, I have a bit of company. Um, so I'm thinking that... We'll start off with, should we just go with colour order? Where's my scissors? So I'm going to start off with number one. Um, and there looks to be literally three number ones. And we've got this whole package of number ones. But there is only three there. So if you're not familiar, I think everybody's familiar with um, diamond art pack diamond art paintings but if you're not familiar with it um diamond art paintings is basically um creating a picture but with um beads which i just think is just fabulous so we literally just need the three out so see if we can tip out three. Oh, hang on. there oh look at that perfect so we're going to go with number one first. All you do is you just match up the colour with the numbers. But this shouldn't take very long at all. So yeah, a bit of a different video, isn't it? Um, like I said, there's so many different um, come on, so many different crafts that I enjoy. I think every now and again it is nice, isn't it, to have um, yeah to do it with you guys right okay let's go on number two number two has got a few more than a number one which is good so move them out the way i'm just gonna cut off a little corner and we're gonna just pop some in there we don't need a whole lot okay and then we're gonna do number two so how is everybody getting on today how are you um so i at the time of recording this, the weather has completely changed from really dry to all of a sudden just lots and lots of rain. Um, but it is still really, really warm, which is so annoying. Really, really annoying. Uh, do you know what? Let's see if we can close in. Uh, there we go you might be able to see just a little better um so yeah um it is soaking wet out there today so i can't really do anything but it's just in time for lucy as well to go back to college so um tomorrow is her first day i think she'll by the time this goes up she'll have been there a good few weeks um just because I, I like to film well in advance and I like to let you guys know on a regular basis that um, I film in advance but yeah the um, the weather is planning all week to just rain I think tomorrow um, which is the 5th of September it is the plan is for thunderstorms and I'm so hoping that it's not you know we're not going to have the thunderstorms when um, while I'm walking Lucy to college, please no. Although we can get the bus, there's a bus that actually comes right outside of our house and drops us right off at her college. So it may be for the first week we do the bus. So yeah, we shall see. But um, I was looking forward to walking it because I thought because um, it's like a, about a twenty minute, half an hour walk. Um, but yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, this is so cute. I thought this would look really, really nice on a book. I'm making um, a few books actually for people for Christmas. Um, for like my family members. So I, um, and I'm actually thinking, I'm just going to turn this around just so that it makes it easier for me. Um, I'm thinking that this might be really nice for my niece. So I think I've, I took out a few more than what we needed there. Now, I do actually keep all of these. I've got a really big drawer full. Um, and then I use them on cards. 
as embellishments because yeah why not so you can get diamond art paintings either with round um, beads or with square um, personally I've done a square one before and mm, wasn't wasn't completely keen on it um, whereas I absolutely love doing these um, circle ones so it's it's quite nice and it's um, if you've never done it it's very therapeutic I think it's very therapeutic um, but I do understand as well that it's it's not for everybody um, but I got this from New Day Craft I will leave a link in the description box below um, but I think I've got it I got some cross stitch as well so I've already started on my Hobbit one even though they don't call it a Hobbit but it clearly is um, so I've started on that and I'm having so much fun but I reckon that's going to take me right up until Christmas to do because it's huge I'm used to doing like you know like a really really tiny tiny one but yeah oh I've only got two more left um so yeah so that's uh fun oh look at that so we've done that so what i'm gonna try and do is move these back into here but i don't want to make the hole bigger i want to sort of keep it as small as i can so i'm using my um gem tool oh do you know what you, i could actually use my other one right okay so then we're going to go on to number three so let me put that down okay um and number three oh it looks to be quite a few bits as well so let's dump a load and then see where we go from there so yeah um you do have to keep chopping up the wax on these um, but I'm wondering if my Lisa Horton one would be alright for this. Um, I'm not impressed with this. I have had people ask me where I got it from. I got it off Creating Craft. But I would highly recommend the ones just off Amazon. The cheap ones. Um, I wouldn't recommend this. I personally got it just because it it was rose gold. But uh, not a fan. However, it works okay. And as I paid for it and I am going to use it so yeah now you can guarantee even though this is a tiny tiny little baby one um, you can guarantee that I'm going to miss a number somewhere it just always happens so this weekend has just been the launch of Festive Treasures. Oh, can I just say to everybody, thank you all so very much for your orders. Oh, you are amazing. Um, I always worry. I don't know why I worry because you guys seem to really like um, my collections. But I always worry that, um, you know, you're not going to like what I've created. Because essentially, you're sort of seeing inside my head, aren't you? <laughs> um but and seeing what my amazing design team have been coming up with, oh, honestly, you couldn't wish for a better design team. I really couldn't. They're all amazing. So, yeah, so it's been quite a busy weekend. So it's actually quite nice just to sit with you guys um, for an hour uh, to do this. Right, My lights are shining, so I can't quite see uh, where number threes are move you over there we go um oh, yeah i really don't like this at all but it saves me continuously thingy in the wax getting the wax um topping up my wax on the other one but yeah um the one that my first ever one that i had embellishment wand was actually gifted to me of the lovely Dawn Sutton. She is here on YouTube. Um, and oh, I couldn't believe the difference because I was just using um, a porky tool with a bit of glue tack on, which works just as well, by the way. Um, so, you know, it is definitely a cheaper option, but I just fell in love with it. Um, 
and then I got a new one because the wax had broke on it and I hadn't realised but you can actually just get the wax replacements, how amazing is that, which is so much better, although um, when I got my second lot, um, when the wax had broke on them, they were sold out everywhere, so that's why I ended up with these ones, I just thought oh they're pretty, um, yeah do not recommend. They're not, I don't know if it's because, um, I don't know, the, the wax just doesn't feel as sticky as the cheaper ones. So, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm hoping you guys can see this. So, we're sort of now at the bottom. Um, so, I've just got a few along the bottom and then we can go on to our next number. But, yeah, I had a feeling this one would go quite quick. But, yeah, I think it's just nice, isn't it, just to sit with... Or your crafty friends and crafty family and do some crafting together so if you haven't already do grab something uh, you know whether it be a color and in book whether you want to make cards whether you want to do mixed media whether you want to do a diamond art painting with me as well um, or whether you just want to sit and listen to my chit chat um, yeah just, I hope you're all having a lovely time watching this. Um, I think, though, what I'm going to do is when we finish this, um, we'll turn it into a book cover. Right, look at that. I need two. Two left. So I'm just double checking up at the top. So I need to try. Oh, oh, look at that. How perfect was that? Oh, I got three, actually, because there's one there. That was a bit silly. So let's pop that on there and that one on there and then this one can go back in the packet hopefully. There we go. Right, so that's number three done. I think this has to be the quickest one that I've ever, ever done. I've never done one so quick. <laughs> Right, okay, so we're going to go with number four, and there's quite a few number fours, so um, I put a fair bit out. Um, may end up having to pop some back, but that's fine. So, yeah, so um, a lady is with me. She is in her bed, so no doubt at some point through this video she will start snoring because that's what our lovely little lady does i've come to the realization that you know if we don't hear lady snoring in at some point in the video then there's something seriously wrong <laughs> because she seems to just be in every video now just snoring away um so yeah she's just so cute oh, she's absolutely gorgeous so yeah um, trying to think what else we've been up to. Um, oh, Lucy got her GCSE re results through. Oh, I'm absolutely proud as anything. Like, super, super proud. I couldn't even be prouder than I am. Um, but she did amazing. She passed all of her GCSEs. Oh, but her maths, she was one point, literally one point away from the next, from like the higher level. And you're just like, oh, Lou, baby. <laughs> I really felt for her because, you know, um, so the college said they're going to remark it, but we don't think it'll come back with that extra point. So I think she's doing a reset in November. Um yeah so oh, honestly we never ever thought we'd get she would get to that point um you know when we got her diagnosis and the um you know the hospital told us not to expect much you're like oh, okay you sort of everything falls apart but do you know what one thing that i've always said to my children is it doesn't matter you know what happens in life if you want it if you dream it and if you want it that much that you know um then you can do it um just hard work and determination and you know the pair of them have been amazing uh kate's just put in her um 
forgot what number I was doing then. Um, Kate's just put in her dissertation for her master's degree um, and she's looking at getting a distinction for that. So honestly, my children, they are the oh they're just amazing they're very down to earth as well which is really good um so yeah she's just the pair of them i, I just can't believe they're coming on in leaps and bounds um yeah i'm definitely one proud mummy um i couldn't be prouder actually she, they're just amazing so i'm not quite sure what lucy wants to do in life um, she is, as we say, she's doing Adam, her dad. <laughs> she's studying her dad um, because the, the course she's chose is art design and media. So, Daddy, um, yeah, when um, she first went to college, every time, oh, like when Lucy came home from college, he'd ask her, um, how was a collage? <laughs> and, then, uh, and then would say, did you take a small image and mix it with another image? <laughs> Yeah, now it's like, oh, you're going to be studying the art of Adam. <laughs> so that's quite funny. So yeah, oh, she is. She's just leaps and bounds. She's super excited as well for starting, which I am not surprised. Her teacher is amazing. We've met him quite a few times now. And he just, he, I don't know, he just seems to understand Lucy. Lucy's can be a bit hard to understand sometimes um she can get very anxious and very yeah her anxiety sort of will kick in at certain things but yeah with him she's so ease and um we'd gone for an interview for her to go and she just started getting really restless and he managed to like actually stop um any like tears or anything like that and just made it all about her which I just thought was amazing so the fact that she's got this amazing teacher is just fab I mean I'm a little worried for next year um I know we've got like a whole year but I'm one of these parents that you know worry well in advance um but she's going to a mainstream this time next year and she hasn't been a mainstream um since she was five so i'm a little yeah a little worried but um there's there's a really good support at the college like a super super support at the college so i really cannot complain um um i went there uh, to do my accountancy so yeah they have a really good college but I don't know, she's my daughter, isn't she? So I'll do all the worrying. Mummy does the worrying for everybody. And um, yeah, but at the minute, I'm just, I think I'm going to just, you know, enjoy the fact that she is happy. And yeah, so I'm on number five now. So we're just popping them in. So that's really good news and all positive. So we're chuffed to bits chuffed a bit with all of that and then I'm um, trying to think what else is happening um, the studio's on hold until after Christmas which I'm a little gutted about we were hoping um, because when we we decided to buy the house um, we were told that we'd complete in September but then I suppose with most things you can't guarantee it um, but our mortgage came through which we are super ecstatic about you know through our solicitors had been on the ball and actually done the searches on the property when we paid them to do the searches on the property we would be completing in about four weeks time as it is um it can take now um eight to twelve weeks so which is going to take us right up till christmas and we don't want to be starting um building you know uh a studio around Christmas just because yeah it's Christmas isn't it I mean we're going to do the base because uh, the base would take a week and to do but um but it's going to take four weeks for the studio to be built and brought here anyway so yeah so we're looking probably in January um of it being delivered so we'll probably hopefully get it um, I've been wanting to order it for the last couple of weeks but yeah we just want to make sure the sale of the house goes through first before we 
um, before we start doing any alterations because if anything falls through then we've wasted our money um, but I mean I can't see anything falling through but we're just just wanting to be safe rather than than sorry if you know what I mean so yeah so I will keep you all updated I'm super excited it is happening it's definitely happening the mortgage like I said the mortgage is through so yay which I'm really pleased and it's a 15 year mortgage so it'll be paid off in 15 years time which is even better because <laughs> we don't want to be paying it for forever we could have got a 25 year but if you can pay it off sooner um, we what we did was we asked them just to match our rent because we used to we used to pay in a certain amount of money so um, they just matched our rent so yeah oh look at that how gorgeous is that looking right okay so that's that one um now it looks to be so number six is green right I was thinking there's no six because I was looking at the flower part but there isn't I'm hoping guys I'm not going off camera really hoping right just hopefully I won't spill any Ta -da. okay let's get number six ah actually one two three four five six seven eight we need eight number sixes wow okay let's see if we can do this so that um i don't have to put any back in so straight off there's one <laughs> oh uh four oh we're one over but that is fine that is perfectly fine so yeah oh looks it sounds like little lucy's woke up so it is a sunday that i'm doing this so it's the fourth of september today um but yeah i've just had a clean of the house and then made myself one of my coffees mm. I always taste so good first thing on the morning so yeah and I thought you know what I'm gonna go and come and sit with you guys for for an hour before I carry on doing what I was doing um so what else has been happening well I had awful toothache um the last couple of weeks well the last week and went to the dentist and oh, honestly I have no idea what is happening with my teeth um, but it looks to be um, that I'm having to go to the hospital and have it out, which is really, really scary because last time I had a tooth out, um, which was actually around this time last year, um, yeah, um, they broke my jaw. So I'm a bit, um, so I don't know if that's why they've sent me up to the hospital or not, but I'm a bit dreading it, shall we say. So I don't know when that'll be, but I cannot eat at all. I'm, I'm literally on a liquid diet, so that's depressing. <laughs> really depressing, actually. Um, but yeah, it'll be fine. So, um, so I'm wanting to try and get some videos done as well, um, just in case they decide that, you know, in case my joints have been really bad. I'm hoping it's just going to be like having a standard tooth out, even though I know that's painful, but. You know, nothing that you can't cope with, with like, you know, your painkillers. Um, although I try not to take painkillers these days. It sounds terrible, but I've spent my whole life on painkillers. So now I just sort of, I craft through my pain. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but by crafting and by not thinking about, you know, the parts of my body that hurt, it actually helps it's it's like um as my neurologist explained it's like a sort of form of um meditation so um and you know it's lovely it doesn't work don't get me wrong there is days when it really does not work um but i'm i've been like talking with my doctor and i said do you know i've spent most of my life just on these painkillers and never had a clear head it's always been quite doped up shall we say um and i'm to the point now where i think i've got a hold of my condition so i have a lot of flare-ups 
um, I have a couple a month easily but um, instead of pushing through the flare ups which is what I used to do and making it worse I don't I rest so I have a lot of rest um, which is a pain in the butt but um, you know I can sit in bed and um, play on my iPad come up with some designs um, buy stuff online um, which to my husband's delight um, but yes the stuff that I can sort of do um, but I find that rest is the biggest thing um, to help in with the pain however if you I rest too much it also becomes very painful so you've got to find like a, an, an easy balance so um, I try and do 15 minutes walk a day and sometimes that's literally I can only just as I do my street so it's like walking to the bottom of my street and back um but you know um it's exercise it's moving my joints the more you move your joints the the better the pain will be if that makes sense so yeah it's taken me um I would say it's taken me 20 years to work out my my pain and how to manage it um without just popping the pills so that which is nice um so i'm hoping to continue that i only started we only started it so with the doctor's help i started it at the beginning of the of the year so i'm a bit worried because um winter's coming and this is where um my pain goes really really high and yeah it's where sometimes i just can't manage it so we will see what happens we'll see if we we turn back to the painkillers but um i'm trying like i say i'm trying other therapies um to try not to to go on the tablets but yeah it's really hard i have to say um i don't normally talk about my illness so sorry about that um but yeah so it's just, i just thought like you know it's just something else that we're trying um, less tablets the better um, yeah um, but yeah I've got loads of uh, stuff that I'm thinking about for next year um, as well I've actually got <laughs> would you believe it I've got my January release it's only going to be a little release actually in January um, instead of a big release because I didn't want to do a big release um, with the, having like the studio and stuff so um, so I've got that all sorted. I've actually got April's release sorted and I think it's oh, it's lovely. Um, I like it, but yeah, completely different like to anything that you've done. Um, oh, I really wish I could tell you, but um, we're not going to. So I need seven. Um, oh, look at, why? Why does it do that? Um, and then I have July's release, um, all designed, ready to go to the printers. Um, but again, I don't want to go to the printers until the studio is built because I just don't have the space in the house in which to store them. Um, and then I also have September's release. But I think I might tweak a few things. But that's the, that's the good thing you see about... Um, you know being so well in it well advanced um that i can tweak it i is there anything in particular any sort of designs that you would like to see because i think it would be interesting to hear from you guys of what type of um things you would like to see and what you would like to you know um for me to design or look at designing um, I know we've just had the festive critters which have gone down really well. You guys seem to love them which I am super super happy about because I just absolutely love them as well. Um, but yeah so um, hopefully it won't be the last time that we see them. I haven't got any plans for them next year as of yet but um, never say never. Um, I've just been sort of working on the card kits because the card kits actually take a long time to put together um, and a long time to organise as well. So, you know, I mean, I've got, um, I've done um, most of July's kit. I'm now actually starting to look for stuff for um, my 
next autumn's kit um but it's finding the right things and and the stuff that i've got in my head to what i want in and it can be quite hard so yeah um and i obviously i have to stick to a budget as well for each run of kits so yeah so that's fun um but what i do now to because um it is a lot of work. I never expected it to be a lot of work. And after the second release, I had a really bad um, a flare um, where I really couldn't do anything. I couldn't function at all for about a month. Thankfully, I had lots and lots of videos. So you guys got to still have me each day. Um, and it was just too much work, which is why one of the reasons the September release and October release has been split up. Um, just to make my life easier really and not to be so full on if that makes any sense so try try and spread the, the workload so that's what I'm sort of looking at and then um, yeah so I'm trying to do it so that I don't have a flare up so now when I get deliveries I package them straight away <laughs> it's so much easier because then you know they're already packaged and all I have to do is just put it um, it in the kit whereas before I was just collecting the stuff and then packaging it all in one go and that's what I did in April and it was just way too much I just can't do it so um and it's one of the only and it's one of the reasons why I only bring out four because I can manage four just so yeah making sure you guys can still see how gorgeous is this rose looking now what I do with that, my diamond art paintings to seal it, I actually put a coat of glue over the top. Um, so, well, I don't have any Mod Podge, but Mod Podge would be a good one. Um, I tend to just use like a PVA glue, but I think today I'm just going to use my Nouveau glue only because, hello. Oh no, I do. I've got some white PVA right in front of me. I normally, you know, they're like the big five litre tubs that you can get from B&Q. I normally use um I normally use those like use that glue only because we've got loads of it but um it's actually back out in the shed come on they never want to turn over when you want them to there we go. right how many do I need see if we can oh it's too many to count well there isn't we could count but you know oh definitely not that much uh and you can still see which is awesome so yeah so lots sort of going on in the background um so yeah life sort of moving it seems to be moving quite quick i mean i cannot believe a hobby has been working now for over a year this is just a fab it's just yeah they always say is one door opens another door closes or or is it no it's when a door closes another one opens yeah i thought it sounded wrong the first time but yeah i'm hoping to see my bestie soon um so she said she's gonna pop over and see me i cannot wait i always miss her so much so i'm looking forward to seeing her um so that'll be awesome um so if you don't know i think most of you know if you don't know my bestie is claire um who is crafty claire here on youtube so yeah i can't wait i love her so much so yeah so i get to see her soon so have a, a good old catch up and yeah um oh, i don't know if you saw I, her, she's just put a video up of a book that she's created oh my goodness me it's so gorgeous and it's called the perfect christmas tree i'm so so tempted to um yeah to talk to her about it and see if we make it into a proper little book how cute would that be <laughs> so we can give gift it out to our family it just means i'd have to send it off to the printers right okay so we are done i have no idea how long i've been on here so shall we see how long this took oh 35 minutes how cool is that right i'm just gonna come back out so that is it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab a book 
bear with me to a sec, guys. Actually, I'm going to grab a couple of books. Now, I'm going to take this cover off because we don't need this cover on. I need to get a piece of, what do you call it? Um, oh, board. So, that'll be big enough. So I've got a couple of books. Now, ideally, um, ideally, I'd like it on this one. But I'm not sure if it would go on it. Um, no. Right, okay, so it's not going to go on that one. So I am going to do it on this one. So let's... Well, first of all, oh, I've got a bit of paper in me. Coffee. Right, first of all, let's finish the coffee. Well, have a very large gulp of coffee, shall we say. Um, and what I'm going to do is pop this down onto my, um, what do you call it, book like so come on right and then I want a pen so I'm just going to do that oh we also need to pop in where our holes are going to be and there she goes she's snoring she's snoring Okay, so I'm just going to mark off where the holes are. Okay, right. So first off, I'm going to cut this down like so. Right, so that bit's done. And then next up, I'm going to grab my hole punch and we are going to punch out those holes so I'm going to do all of them like so because I think you know sometimes we just don't know what to do with diamond art paintings so we could either frame them or turn them into something I know I have a video on my um, channel where I did a huge lady in the tramp one and i turned that into a journal um and it was the whole cover but i can't show you it unfortunately because i have actually um put it away i've packed it away but i'm just gonna cut around now my cutting is terrible so i'm gonna see if my trimmer will cut it because my trimmer will cut it i'll be very happy look at that which means we can get it nice and straight okay and they'll sound now I do need to find some oh, hang on. need to find some um, paper so we need some really nice paper in which to back this onto. Right, so that is it cut square. Now, as you can see, that's just too much. What I think I'm going to do is I might cut that out actually. Um, yeah, let's cut that out like so. Um, and then we'll get some paper and we will cover the book with the paper and then have this on the front of it because I think that will just look lovely so I'm trying to make sure that I've got the same all the way around now I am going to give this a coat of PVA but I'm not going to do the PVA until it's on the book um, because then I can just set it aside and know that it's done and then yeah we can sort of go from there Just there we go. Just give me two seconds. Sorry, I'm really concentrating because I can see right there. Right, perfect. Right, okay, so let's get rid of these. 
Now, let's have a look. I want like a nice purpley colour, don't we? I do have some. Oh, what about? Oh, dropped a little paper pad. What about one of these? Let's have a look. Oh, that might be nice. Let's have a look. So what I'm thinking is that can go on there with that on top. That will look lovely. Right, do we have the other one? Because I'll do the other one for the back. Um, what's on the other side of it? Pink polka dots. There. So I've taken this from a basic background and it's a Craft Sensation 12 by 12 paper pad. So that's what I've got the, the papers from. So now, what I'm going to do, let's move this out of the way, is I'm just going to come in and grab my glue, my right, new glue, there it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so this is how I tend to do um, my books, not when I'm doing clear ones, um, the clear ones, um, well yeah, actually, um, a lot, yeah, my clear ones I would put paper on and then I put the clear overlay on the top of it. So, um, whereas mixed media ones, this would all be painted. Now, I do like to get in between those holes so that I know that they're going to stick okay. Now, what are we on? Um, I'm just double checking because my husband will be ringing me soon, so... And do you know what's nice? You're sort of with me. And we haven't paused the camera once. So you're with me right from the very start to the finish line. So we can see exactly how long it would take us to do this. But, I mean, how gorgeous is that? Right. So I'm just sticking that down. Now what I'm going to do, because you can see that this is too big, I'm just going to come in and cut just down to that bit there um, if there's a bit that needs trimming off this bottom there isn't normally a bit that needs trimming off but it's always best to see and then we re-punch out these like so so I'll do that all the way along And then what we're going to do, because this gives a lovely, lovely edge, rather than um, cutting the paper down and then back in the other side, we don't. We fold the paper over and it just gives you a lovely edge on this side um, and it just makes the book look more finished. So I'm just going to glue these. Like so. Again, making sure that I've got in between there. And then, put plenty of glue on. Like so. Okay. And then I'm just going to push that across like so. Making sure that that is as far over as we can there we go oh really push that down burnish it all so that it's nice and adhered and then we're just going to trim around it okay so now i'm going to go back on this side because there's always because i was sort of going on the opposite side there's always like a little lip um, so I do this a few times on this side just to make sure that it is all trimmed nicely and then I don't think that needs trimming oh, she's really snoring she's so cute right okay so there's that so then we're just going to re-put the holes in okay so I'm going to pop them in like so <laughs> oh, got another. Okay, 
can hear her. She's just so cute. Honestly, I feel so blessed to be her mummy. I really do. Right, um, I'm going to take the back cover off. So just back, just to take the cover off, I'm literally just pulling these back. Um, the, this is a sketchbook that I got from um, the works and I just love them. I love, they're perfect for sketching and, and writing notes in. Um, I think they're just a fab. And then, so I'm gonna move that to one side. We're gonna do exactly the same. And like I said, I'm gonna stay on camera with you just so that we can see how long this has taken us. Mm. That's lovely. Um, and then you can also listen to little lady doing her thing. So I'm just gonna stick this down like that. I will do it along there in a minute. And then making sure that in between each one i just like to do it just because i don't like the idea of the paper lifting up between the holes just in case it rips and then becomes untidy um so we're just going to stick that and i'm going to and always when you're doing this always make sure your holes are on this edge um one it makes life so much easier and two you'll end up with a fold on this side instead of um that side but as you can see i mean that edge just looks so much better than that edge but this edge you won't see this edge you will okay so i stuck that down i'm just going to actually push my finger up against that just to, so that it's yeah, right, I'm going to trim this, okay, and then we're going to trim those, okay, and then, <clears throat> now these are square holes, but um, we will make them round, which is really easy. What I tend to do is I just rest the um, my hole punch at the bottom of that line um, and then just take away from the top and I find that that is better right let me just empty that out okay and let's continue and then by the time we put our next book on um, yeah it'll just be round holes so both the front cover oh that was a hard one i don't know if it's well, my hands are not working or they just seem to be really hard to go through um, and then that one two left hopefully the last lot of holes that oh, we do will be quite easy i'm just gonna have the last of my coffee Mm. just tastes so good okay right now let's pop some glue on i'm going to make sure to get right around the edges because we don't want any lifting um so that's something that i like to do okay and let's go down there and again in between i'm going to do that before i start with the rest of it Okay, now let's fill the rest with glue. So here's Lucy. So you're probably going to hear her because she's in sing mode. Um, but yeah, right. And then I'm just going to fold this over the top of it. Like so. And really burnish that down. Just like that. So that is our cover. And then we're just going to go around the whole thing and trim it so and how gorgeous do they look right so this side I need to do a couple of times because you can never get in properly unfortunately that's one thing i will say um but there is ways and means right okay so there's that um, these bits I'm going to pop into my scrap box 
they're so gorgeous you could actually use them um on the journal on the inside as pockets so we could actually put some pockets in if we wanted to um i don't know whether to or not what do you think i'm trying to see what's the straightest edge so i could sort of glue that in there and then we cut it down do you know what? I think that might work, you know. Should we have a pocket? Should we put a pocket on inside on the inside? Right, I am just going to um punch all of these out like so. Okay. Let's see how long have I been on? Oh 50 minutes. Wow. How cool is that? I think this is the quickest time I've ever made a book really really do right i want so i want these bits as the covers so if i do that what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to pop some glue along there and the same on this side but i'm going to do it like that because yeah i want it all the way across just so that it looks nice and then i'm going to grab this and we're going to stick that down like that so there's that one and i've done it purposely um like i've done it so that it is actually you know um right in the middle just so i've got the best bit of it and then i'm just going to get my scissors and we're going to trim right the way around like so there and that creates a pocket and then last thing to do is we just need to pop in those holes like so so then i'm going to do exactly the same to the other one so let's pop them together so i get it um so we get them in the same place right. all that. okay so right just going around there like that and then around like that because if we can make a pocket why not do it right and then find the nicest bit which I think is there right let me just and I'm gonna line it up actually on there like that and then that will give us the same height really push that down and then what I'm going to do is trim it, trim around it. Okay. There's that bit and... Okay, there's that bit, right. So these bits I'll pop into my scrap box and then these bits I'll just pop into, into the bin. Right, I want to keep those. Like I said, I do keep all of the um, gems because we can use them to embellish, um, which I think is really, really nice. I'm actually wondering whether or not to embellish it on the book. Right, so um, we're going to pop on our front cover first. So I'm just going to pop that on like so, if we can do it. And then I'm going to pop this one on, which is our back cover. Oh, well, I would. However, we haven't punched out the holes on these, which is a bit silly. So let's do that. Right. Okay. So then I'm going to pop them on. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to squeeze them together just to close it up like that okay how gorgeous okay and then let's pop it. there we go so there's our cover so now all we have to do is how beautiful does that look on there doesn't that just look amazing so i do have some white pva glue here that we are going to use um 
as if it hasn't all oh oh this one's like the snot one i forgot this was like the snot one right i've just put some on and i'm just gonna gl put the glue into this um because we are going to still close down and I'm just using normal PVA because I do find that it works. I mean, you can use your more expensive paints. Right, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to just use my glass mat because there's a bit too much on there. But I can reuse that bit um, to coat the cover. Right, so I'm going to stick that on there like so. And then using my brush and just getting that glue on my brush we're just gonna glue over the top of it like so um and do you know what i think the longest time for this now i am going to put a layer of this glue all over um just because it will match in then it'll look nice otherwise you can you can end up with like you know like um wet look to some bits like i don't know i don't know if this is even making any sense there we go so nice big so we'll have like bits of glossy bits that we don't really want if you know what i mean so i'm gonna do that and this just helps give it a really good like coating which means that these beads are not going to come off our diamond art painting at all oh look at that how nice is that Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, do you know what I do have, which probably would have looked lovely? Um, I've got some varnish. Do you know what? I'm going to take... Oh, I was thinking, should I take that front cover off? Maybe I should have done. Hopefully, this won't be too bad. But, yeah. Maybe do this part not on the book. I was just thinking if I did it on the book, then it'll have something quite sturdy in which to dry so that it won't crease up and stuff. But yeah, never mind. Right, okay. Now I think that that is sort of trying to resist that. So what I'll probably end up doing is just doing this for a few for about 10 minutes well i don't know it's sort of just slightly resisting so every time it resists i'll just come in and do that just so we get a nice a nice look of it um but yeah and then maybe i might come in with my glitter varnish and i might put a glitter um seal over the top of it as well depending on how this dries so we'll have to wait and see how this dries i'm going to take off the excess because there's quite a bit of excess on there which isn't good there we go and then just yeah keep it going until it's dry but yeah i think this is just gonna look gorgeous isn't it so um yeah um it has taken me um from start to finish um an hour which I think is really good. So now it's just dry time. So I will be back when this is dry and I will show you the finished product. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep on um, just making sure that this all is nice. Uh, like I said, I think it may need another coat, but I'm thinking I might do a coat of the varnish because the varnish dries really quickly um, because we've just got some areas which is resisting the, the glue um so if that continues then obviously um i'll want a really nice coat so i will let you know what happens um so yeah so i will be back when this is dry okay i am back it is still wet as you can see but i just thought what about adding some of these gems you know just around just for a little bit of added detail obviously i don't want to add that many um but i was thinking <laughs> How nice would it be, you know, just while it's still wet, just add a 
are just a couple um just to give the cover a little bit more sort of i don't know character or a little bit more texture um i'm not just going to use the one color though right um so yeah if i do that it is just about dry though so i do need to be quick right it doesn't matter if these mix up because they're just going to go in the drawer anyway um but yeah something a bit different isn't it um obviously i've got to find somewhere that is still wet because not everywhere is still wet some of it has dried now the book cover itself has started bowing that's perfectly fine um so what i'm going to do is once this is dried and i have decided i'm going to put a, um, a layer of glitter over the top as well once it's dried um but what i've decided is actually um when it is done um and it's all fully fully dry um what i'll do is i'll actually put it underneath a load of books I don't really want that one there, but it's gone there now. Um, let's see if we can find. Oh, there's a bit, a wet bit up there, and up there. But I just thought, you know, just for something a little different, um, and just add a little something else. Why am I adding the green? We want the red. Um. So yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're just going for it, guys. Um. And just bringing in those beads just i just think why not i think it's quite nice just to add a few little extra details wherever we can now i'm holding it up so that i can see the shiny part um so where it's shiny that means that it's wet okay oh i'm there yeah there that's it that's all i'm gonna do um so it is like you say it is just about dry i reckon another half an hour or so um so when it's dry this that i'm going to be using it's um it's by restored all i can never say it so it's by there <laughs> um come on camera that is so it's by those and it is a glitter it's a sparkling finish it's clear when it um but it adds just rainbow glitter to your piece it's very subtle um this i got from the range for about five pounds i think it was 4.99 i love it i just think it adds just a lovely little extra something um to our piece which is just fabulous but yeah um i don't know if you can see the shine so where all those shiny bits are that is glue um that we're waiting to dry um and luckily it hasn't stuck to the spine um so yeah so i think we got away with that one quite nicely so um yeah i'll be back once this has been painted on it and it's fully dry and then you can have a full look but yeah i reckon maybe another half an hour to an hour i'm gonna leave it for an hour i think come back and have a look at it and then yeah if it's all good um we'll go with it but yeah i think it looks gorgeous i really do think it looks absolutely gorgeous i hope you like it too so yeah i will be back in a second right okay so i'm back i've just put the coat of glitter over the top and i don't know if you can see it's slightly sparkling as i do that um it doesn't really show up very well on the camera but i've just put the glitter on um yeah you can see it's still wet because i've literally just done it um but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous how beautiful is that book so guys that is it i am going to end the video here so it's taken including drying time it's taken about three hours for me to complete which i just think is fabulous um i hope you've enjoyed watching the whole process um and yeah it's been lovely just chatting with you guys and having you um with me in my craft room um yeah because why wouldn't we want to all just sit and craft together um i will leave it there thank you everybody so much for watching i'll leave a link to where i got this um or oh, this diamond art painting in the description box below so do check that out um but yeah until next time guys please do take care and happy crafting bye